Hello, my pretties. Welcome to episode 334 of Shadows and Pretties. And today we are going to be looking at this 2016 movie called Moana. Now, Moana came out in 2006. Well, 16, actually. I almost said 2006. It's a Disney movie, which it all it stars um pretty much um Alu Carvalho and um Dwayne Johnson. And this film is a really good um movie. I personally remembered watching this in Feeders. It was pretty good. So, however though, with this movie I do know for a fact there is a live-action move remake scheduled to be released in 2006-26, so yep. And there is a second movie called Moana 2, which I have really am excited for the fourth, the second um, Moana movie. I hope it's just as good as this one. So, yeah. I think I'm going to go ahead and, you know, explain what the plot of this movie is about, especially for those who have not seen the movie in a long time and for those who have not seen it. So basically, in Polynesian island of Montanui, inhabitants of worship goddess of nature, Defiti, a living island long ago, brought life to the ocean using a Pananandu stone as the heart and the source of power. One day, Maui, the shape-shifting demigod of the wind and sea and master of wayfinding, stole Tefiti's heart to give humanity power of creation. This caused Tefiti to disintegrate. Disintegrate, yeah. And Maui gets attacked by Tika, a volcanic demon. Maui lost both of the heart and the magic fish hook in the depths of the sea. So a thousand years later, the ocean chooses Moana, the daughter of Montanui's chief Tui, to return the heart to Defiti to Sina, Moana's parents. Try to keep her away from the ocean to prepare her for the island chief 16 years later. A blight strikes the island, killing the vegetarian Tation and shrinking the fish catch. So Moana suggests going beyond the island's reef with her pet pig Poa, to find more fish and find out what's happening. But two forbids it. And Moana tries conquering the reef. But is overpowered by the tides and gets shipwrecked. That afternoon Moana's grandmother Tala. Shows her a secret cavern of ships. And reveals Montanui's people were voyagers. Until Maui stole Tefiti's heart. The ocean was no longer safe without it. Tala explains that Tika's darkness is destroying the island. But it can be cured if Moana finds Maui and leads him before to restore the heart of Tefiti. Having to be given the heart of, by the ocean, Tala gives it to Moana. Tala later becomes severely ill and tells Moana to find Maui before she dies. Moana sets sail on a kamako or from the cave and all the way to the demon-witted pet rooster, Heihei, who stowed away from it. They are caught by a typhoon shipwrecked on the island where she finds Maui, who boasts about his achievements. She demands Maui to return the heart, but he refuses and traps her in the cave before leaving on her boat. She escapes and confronts Maui, who reluctantly lets her on a little kameku. They are attacked by the Kakamora coconut pirates, who seek the heart, but Moana and Maui outwit them. Moana realizes says that Maui is no longer a hero since he stole the heart and cursed through the world, convinces him to redeem himself by returning the heart. However, Maui needs to retrieve his fish hook from Latololata, the realms of monsters, and Tamota, a giant coconut crab. While Moana distracts Tamota, Maui retrieves his hook, only to find himself unable to control his shape-shifting. He is overpowered by Tamota, but Moana's quick thinking allows them to escape with the hook. Maui reveals his first tattoo was earned when his human parents abandoned him as an infant, and the gods taking pity on him granted him his powers. After reinsurance from Moana, Maui teaches her, her the heart of finding the way, regaining control of his powers, and the two grow closer. They arrive at Tefiti's island only to be attacked by Tika. Moana refuses to turn back, resulting in Maui's hook being badly damaged. 
Unwilling to lose his hook again, Maui abandons Moana, who asks the ocean to find someone else to restore the heart and loses hope. The ocean obliges and takes the heart, but Tala's spirit appears, inspiring Moana to find her true calling. She retrieves the heart and sails back to confront Tika. Maui returns and having a change of heart and buys Moana time to reach Tifiti by fighting Tika, destroying his hook in the process. Upon being unable to find Tifiti, Moana realizes that Tika is Tifiti and having to become corrupted without her heart. The ocean clears a path for Moana, allowing her to return the heart to Tifiti, who heals the ocean islands of Bright, and Maui apologizes to Fiti, who fixes his hook as well as Moana's boat before falling into a deep sleep and becoming an island. Moana fair bids farewell to Maui and Tifiti, returning home and reunited with her parents. After placing the shell on top of the stack of stones placed by the previous chiefs, she takes up her role as chief and a wayfinder, leading her people to resume voyaging accompanied by Maui, Thus, how the movie ends. This is actually a really good story. I personally really enjoyed um, this film. This one was a really good movie. It's got good actors, good actresses that were in this movie. Music was pretty good, too. I like how the soundtrack in really was really fitting for this. I personally really like this movie. Now, I did watch this movie in feed years back in 2026. Well, not 20, but 2016. And it's still a really good movie. The animation's good. The songs are really good. The acting is pretty good. I like the the character Maui. I thought he was a really good character. And especially Dwayne Johnson, you know, playing the character. I thought he was really funny playing the character. I mean, to be fair, I have to watch this movie again. This movie is really funny. I personally really enjoy this film. It's it's a real I recommend this movie to anybody who's never seen Moana or to those that want a refresher about it. I highly recommend this movie. This is a really great film. It's awesome, well made. It's definitely a very fun movie. I definitely recommend this to anybody who happen to be a fan of Disney. If you're a Disney fan like myself, you really will enjoy this movie. It's really well made. The music's really good. I definitely recommend this movie, and I mean, kids would love this movie, but also adults would like this movie as well. So, no matter if you're a, you're a kid or adult, you definitely will really enjoy this movie. I mean, kids can enjoy this film, and same with adults. So, with that being said, and that being the case, um, like I'm always going to say right now, this is just simply my own personal opinion, and if you disagree with me, that's perfectly fine too. We're all entitled to our own opinions regards to these um, movies. So, yeah, I love this movie. I thought this movie was really well made. I like the concept, the storyline, everything about it was flat out amazing. I really do enjoy this film. I mean, I could watch this movie over and over again. It's just a really good concept. I like this story a lot. The storyline a lot. I like the, the plot. It's amazing. So, you definitely will really enjoy this movie once you've seen it. So... With that being said, and that being the case, uh, what did you guys personally think of this movie? Did you enjoy it? Did you not? Also, what would you have done person to help make this movie a lot better? Feel free to let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below. I'm the Lion Queen. Thank you so much for watching today's video. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Ring the bell for notifications when I upload, so that way you guys will not miss an upload. And as always, um, I'll be, I'll be be letting you guys know you can follow me on twitter and you can follow me on deviantart links to those will be in the about page section so you guys can go follow me on those also be sure to subscribe to my backup channel known as miss dark shigo as link to that will also be in the about page section as always it's a really good film i really recommend it so you guys can go check it out if you like now that's pretty much all i have to really say but if i'm missing something please let me know what it is in the comments below and as always, I'll be seeing you guys all in the next video. Peace out, everyone. And as always, I'll be seeing you all next time.